right, everybody. Welcome to Fishing with Jet. Okay, today we're on Lake Russell. The last couple of days we've had a pretty good little cold front come through. Um, so hopefully that didn't hurt the bite too bad. Um, hadn't been here in about, should I say maybe three months. Last time I came here was the overcast sky, you know, off and on rain, it was real cold. Um, so today we're gonna we're gonna concentrate again on trying to catch a big one. Uh, the, hopefully the bite is good. It's a lot of boats on the water today. One of the main things that I'm I'm trying to accomplish today on the water is uh, this is my third. This will make my third trip with the uh, new lit, Dakota lithium battery. I've only charged it one time. I've already put in a little over 16 hours of fishing time using the battery and haven't charged it yet. So we're gonna try the third trip, just see how far we can go. I'm gonna try to, again, stick out, you know, anywhere from six, seven to eight hours on the water and uh, just see how long this battery gonna last. Uh, so I'm gonna bring y'all right along with me. Let's get to fishing. All right, it's 11.30 and we're putting the, putting the trolling motor in. We're gonna, we're gonna put some work in. So, got it turned on. Okay, gonna start the day off with a shaky head. Just gonna kind of try to get that first bite in, you know. Try to get that first fish in, and <laughs> you know, get a little bit of confidence on maintaining the confidence. It feels like I'm gonna catch something today. But I just wanna, you know, I wanna, I, you know, with a cold front coming through, you never know how it affect the fish. I don't know if the fish was biting real good and aggressive before the cold front came through. Um, but I'm assuming that the fishing was pretty good and the fish was pretty much in a chasing mood before that cold front came through. So I'm thinking, why not try the slower method something a little bit more bottom base you know if the cold you know just in case the cold front kind of turned that hot bite off so that's why i'm starting with a little bit of a slower presentation Okay, a midday update. Oh man. I've thrown shaky head. I've thrown that hover rig. Uh, I've thrown several different crankbaits. And uh, I throw the bladed jig. Nothing has worked. I got one strike about 25 minutes into my day on a swim jig. Fish caught it, you know, come out of the blue about halfway back to the boat, hit at it. I, I seen him hit the swim jig, but I don't think he tried to eat it. I think he just kind of like tried to knock it, kill it or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to keep on, keep on grinding. I'm going to continue to change my colors. You know, that's just, that's just how it is, you know. It could be a simple color change uh, could be the style of lure you know you just gotta you don't know just gotta keep going you know I'm gonna change up a few of my colors on the shaky head my drop shot it's time now to start scrambling because it's getting rough well be honest with you it has gotten rough Oh yeah. Ooh, about time. Come on in. Come on in. All right. All right, y'all. Got one. 
this long little sucker. <laughs> Whoo, what time is it? What time? Man, it's it is 3.23, y'all. I've been at it since 11.30. Man, finally got one. Finally got one. Man. It's a long fish. <laughs> All right, y'all. Skunk is out of the boat. Thank goodness. Thank God. I'm going to let this guy go. Beautiful little spotted bass. This right here saved the day, y'all. The little old trusty Ned Red. <laughs> Nothing else was working. The Ned Red saved the day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got a good one, y'all. Got a good one. Oh, yeah. Part of a big one. This might be my PB. Spit, not shed. All right. Get back in there, y'all. See if we can catch another one right fast. We put him in. We put him right there. See if we can double up. Hair. Alright everybody, this bad boy right here was spitting up shad left and right. Let's see what he weigh. Let's get a quick weight on him right quick. 1.71. Alright. Let this pretty bad girl go. Get on back in there. That fish was actually busting on top of the water at bait fish. I think that I've figured them out. I've been spending a lot of time back in the coves, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be honest with you, they're not back there. They are not back there. So basically, I just wasted a few hours of for nothing. I mean, but you know, you don't know until you fish it. That's part of breaking down, breaking down a lake. This wind is pretty hectic out here, so I might take my time and get back in position. And hopefully I can get me a couple of more. Excuse the wind. It's rough out here. little boy small little spot yeah All right All right we are on to something now man look how far this wind done blowed me over here just over there just a split second ago now i'm way over here this point right here i found a spot where these fish are actively feeding I've, I've managed to catch two of them off this point well pretty much three all three of them caught one on this side of the point but the other one's on that point so i'm gonna center myself back around this board and i'm just gonna fan cast keep fan casting them. see how many how many more i can pick up Oh, 
or another little bit ago. Off the net rig. Oh man, I ain't mean pull his little mouth up. Wow, little bitty joke. <laughs> All right, get your little butt back in there. All right, I'm gonna crank this really, really small little cove or whatever you want to call this off the main lake. I'm gonna crank it real fast and I'm gonna go back to that same point. But I'm gonna get a little further out this time on that point. And I'm gonna see if I can create some more bikes. Hopefully I get in here. I hadn't got a crankbait bike all day. I had one fish show itself. But outside of that, didn't get a crankbait bite all day. Alright everybody, <laughs> that's it, three, four days on the water, it's now 5.50 p.m. everybody here's your quick recap of the day we're gonna start off about the battery um today man it was super windy I got a late start I meant to get up early early in the morning and you know to get out on the water because the wind was actually gonna be died down early in the morning but as usual I'm, I'm late getting to the lake um, and I knew that within an hour of me getting to the lake you know, literally that the wind was gonna pick up. And boy, did it pick up. Um, on top of that, we had other boats that was making it even worse, riding back and forth or whatever. Um, but can't really ask for anything better than that with six hours and 20 minutes. When you add it all together, got around 22 hours, 20 minutes uh, of actual continuous runtime on that battery without charging it. That's one, that's my first day, eight hours on the water. My second day, it's like seven hours on the water. And then you count today, six hours and 50 minutes, however you want to take it. You know, you can't, you can't beat that. Um, so I'm very, very happy about the battery. Okay, as far as fishing, all right, the plan was to go catch some large mile, try to, Get, get that big bite didn't work out at all and the actual lure of the day that actually saved the day <laughs> is none other than the little Ned Red you know if y'all can't see it 
Uh, it's got a little twisted up. But the neck rib. This this little bait right here, <laughs> this little mug right here, it it catches fish. But um, I actually uh made my own little weed guard on this on this thing right here using some money film and it kind of got bent up a little bit but you know try to make it a little bit more weedless but it saved the day today um i got kind of lucky i came out to this one particular point and you know i caught two or three of them just like that it got the skunk out of the boat all in all i'm happy uh, because i got to take this battery you know on the full journey of testing it out and to get three fishing trips of six hours or more i can't ask for anything better than that you know again i have the 12 volt 54 amp hour dakota lithium and and i definitely give it a thumbs up um i'm gonna soon put it on charge i feel very very confident now i made the right choice going with that battery as usual Hey, I like to, you know, let everybody know I appreciate the comments. I appreciate you liking the videos. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for going along on these, on these little journeys, you know, with me. I really appreciate it. Y'all keep me motivated. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. And I'll talk to y'all later.